Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Photoshop CS6 course. Mike Brown here with you again. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a couple of cool tricks and show you how to use that seeing digitally that I have talked about to take an average image and not only make it look a lot better, but do something very, very cool with it. We're going to create a photo frame effect. But first, we're going to prepare the image and we're going to use a gradient overlay, and I'm going to talk a little bit about blend modes again, and then we're going to merge our effects. I'm going to show you how to do it and why we do it, and then we're going to create the 3D frame for the photo effect. Okay, let's get started. So here's a shot that I took when I was headed up the coast scouting for some backgrounds for my automotive work. And this is one of those situations where you've got a really nice place here. This is a really nice scene but the light is very, very flat. It's right straight behind us. It's like noon. Uh, the sunset obviously would be to the left, and if we could hang around for another three, four, five hours, the light would get really good. But we were on a schedule. We had places to go, and we had to make it in a specific amount of time. So I had to take it just as it was, and so here is the shot. So we're going to take this and see what we can do to do some minor slash major improvement without having to work too hard, show you a couple of new tricks to do it, and then we're going to finish this off by mounting our image and putting in a recessed frame. All right, let's get with it. Okay, we're going to change the screen view with the letter F so I can move my image open over. I'm going to get the layers panel up and move it out. We've got a single background layer, so what's the first thing we do? You got it. Duplicate that background. The layer drop down menu or the little drop down menu in the panel, or what is the shortcut? Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, the letter J. Now we've got our working layer. So, based on what we've talked about before in terms of seeing digitally, let's look at the image and see. Obviously, we can't do a heck of a lot. We could with the light, but hey, we're just going to play with it real quick here. First thing I notice is the sky is okay, but it could use some pop. The beach is kind of nice, but it's very flat. We could stand a little contrast in it and certainly some color enhancement. And this rock face over here seems to be a little dark. I'd like to open that up. Other than that, not going to mess with it too much. Now, we could make a selection for the sky, go in with adjustment layers, pop those, do that. We've done that before. Do the same thing with the sand. Obviously, that's no problem. I'm just going to show you a different way to play with this, just for fun. All right, we're going to go to the Effects drop-down menu. That could be also under Layer, Layer Styles. There's Gradient Overlay there. There's all those styles. But they're right down here under the Effects. We're going to do a Gradient Overlay. And it comes in black and white, and you go, wow, <coughs> what are you doing with this? Well, we're going to take and we're going to blend it with the image, and it comes in initially as a black and white gradient, which we can change. Now, the blend modes, remember, let me just move this up so we can look at them all. There are really one, two, three, four groups that you're ever going to use in blends. The first one, all of them, and it's real easy to figure out what they do if you forget, the first one tells you they darken things. If I go to darken here, Anything that is darker than neutral gray gets darker. Anything that's lighter gets lighter. And so therefore the sky got a little lighter because it didn't do much to the sky because that's white. Everything down here got darker. And not neutral gray, darker than the overlaying image. If we go to the lighten group, what do you think it does? It lightens, so it's going to take that sky because it's white and it's going to lighten it. Didn't do much to the sand. But if we go down to the third group, the overlay through hard mix, these are all contrast blends. <clears throat> the three that you most often use, overlay is the middle one, soft light is the least, hard light is the most. These three, and these do the same thing, but more, of, more harshly. So we'll try overlay, and look what happened. We got lighter gray, darker here. I think this is where we want to go. The midtones are, are fine. And you're going, what are you talking about? 
Well, remember how we deal with gradients? This is black and this is white. We're going to change that. Click on that. We have our gradient editor. We're going to take the color stops. Remember, those are on the bottom. Right now it's black. And we have our eyedropper. We're just going to select a color off of the sand. And now it looks like the sand. Let's go a little darker. There we go. A nice dark in the sand already. And we're going to take the color stop for the sky and pull a color from the sky. Now we have a gradient that goes from sand to sky. And it's OK, but I think we could add more color. Let's hit the color stop for the sand. Notice we've got color. Let's move it up and make it a little richer. Look at that. With that blend mode in there of overlay, the sand looks pretty good. Not bad at all. The sky, we can stand to pop that. So let's go to the color stop on the sky, hit the color there, and do the same thing. Let's darken the blue a little bit and richen it up. And there we go. The sky's all richened up. So we got the sand right and the sky right, but the in-between area is kind of screwed up. Now, there are several ways to fix that. You can modify the gradient to only go between here and here, but we're going to make this easy. We're just going to go ahead and take OK. Let's try a couple of other blend modes. Let's try hard light to see what happens. I don't like that. It kind of flattened that out. Soft light, not bad, but not quite enough. So overlay has the pop that we wanted. All right.